Hi there, this is Joe from Signage Live speaking, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you all about approvals within Signage Live. Approvals is a functionality that comes embedded into granular user permissions if you have that module enabled on your Signage Live network, and it essentially introduces a review process between an approver and a user who requires approval to upload content. So here I am on my test Signage Live network here, and it's worth noting that you can manage approval settings on both user roles and individual users. But before we do that, we will need to enable the functionality within Signage Live that requires approval. To do that, we're going to go to Settings and Approvals. Here you can see at the top we have Operations to Approve, and at present you can only do this on Adding Media. So I'm going to tick Adding Media. Now this will mean that any content that is uploaded by a user that requires approval will go into review. So let's test this out for ourselves. Today I'm actually going to manage approvals on user roles instead of the individual users. So I'm going to go to settings and roles. So as you'll see down here I have created this role called requires approval. Now essentially any user within that role has the permissions of the standard user role because I duplicated that role in order to create this role and then I added the requires approval to upload media to that user role. So if I click on the role here, and this will load all of the permissions for this role, I'm going to scroll down to Network, and I'm going to scroll down to Approvals. And as you can see here, Requires Approval when adding media assets is ticked. And this will mean that any user that is within this user role will require approval when they're uploading new media. I'm going to hit OK now, and that's already set. I haven't actually changed anything there. But it's worth noting that the default admin role does not have is approver added to their permission set. So we need to add that ourselves. I've already done this. I've created a duplicate of the admin role here. So my copy is this one here. It's called admin slash approver. So anyone who falls into this user role will have all of the permissions of an admin. But I've also added the permissions to this role for these users to manage approvals. So if I click on this role, again, it will load up our permissions. And it's worth noting that this process looks exactly the same if you are doing this on an individual user as well. So if I scroll down here, I'm going to go down to network again, go down to approvals. And this time I have the ability to view network approval settings. I have the ability to manage approval settings. And I have the is approver flag here, which means that I can actually approve these requests when they come in. So just make sure those are ticks when you're setting up the approver roles. And now let's test this out. I'm logged into my admin account now. So I'm now going to log out of my admin account and I'm going to log into a user that falls within that requires approval role. So let's log in here. So now I'm logged into my signage live network. I'm just going to go through and try and upload some content. So if I go media asset upload, I'm going to upload just something random. What have I got here? Just anything. Let's do that there. I confirm I have permission and now the content will upload. And now my content is uploaded. And as you'll see, I've got this awaiting approval folder here. If I click on here, we will see the content that I've just uploaded. So now I can't actually use this asset until it has been approved. So now let's log out and see this from the admin perspective. So I'm now going to log out. I'm going to log into my admin account. And here I am immediately when I log into my admin account, you can see I'm met with a notification that says there is content that requires approval. Would you like to review it? I'm going to hit yes in this case. And that will take me straight back to that folder there. Now, when I click on this content that my other user uploaded, I can now start review. I can approve it straight away or I can reject it. In this case, let's start a review, which essentially gives us the ability to approve or reject it. And we can now add some notes as well. So in this case, I'm going to say this is great content and I'm going to approve it. And now that content is moved from the awaiting approval folder. I can go to recently uploaded and it will appear here, as you can see. And now if we were to log back into that other user, they would then be able to go and use this content and upload it into whatever playlists they want to. I hope you found this video of use. If you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us and we'd be more than happy to help. We'll see you on the next one.